Hello everyone, my name is Tim and I'm one of the security experts here at Proactive Security, where your safety and peace of mind is our business. I'm here today to talk to you guys about field of view, or FOV for short. The field of view that a camera captures in is a very important thing to consider when choosing a security camera system. They are not all made equal. However, with a bit of know-how, we can make sure that you get the perfect viewing angle on all of your cameras. The first thing you need to know is that camera's field of view is measured in millimeter length, designated by a lowercase m after a number, as an example, 2.8 millimeter. The lower that number, the wider the angle, and the higher the number, the more narrow the picture is going to be produced. To get the best idea of what a camera produces, check out the specification sheet. That will have the actual viewing angle in degrees listed, and that can be very helpful when determining the exact field of view of the camera. A lot of cameras are becoming more versatile by coming equipped with variable focus lenses, such as our 4K Vandal Dome camera that has a 2.8 through 12 millimeter lens. This is an extremely useful feature because depending on your application, you can have a very wide 2.8 millimeter lens for general coverage, or adjust that lens all the way up to 12 millimeters for a more narrow view to monitor something specific such as an entrance or doorway, driveway, etc. Most modern systems will have a mixture of both fixed wide angle cameras for general coverage and then a few variable focus lens cameras in the mix for to monitor specific areas around your home or business. Now here is a demo of three cameras I put up side by side with the same viewing angle with just different field of views so you can see how greatly the camera choice can impact performance. Take a look. Okay so as I said there's three cameras mounted side by side on a pole and you can see that you have the actual camera's millimeter length at the bottom left. Um, now I'm going to pause it here in a second to actually point something out. So what you have here is you have a 2.8 millimeter camera at the top left, um, a 3.6 millimeter at the top right, and a 6 millimeter one at the, at the bottom there. So if you take a look at this image really quickly, I measured the distance between the camera and the middle of the sidewalk, which is 25 feet, and then I measured how the viewing width of every single one of these cameras. So the 2.8 millimeter had 72 feet, the 3.6 millimeter width was 50 feet, and then the 6 millimeter camera was 27 feet wide. Now, what's interesting about this, and, and you can actually see this in real world right now since it's paused, you can see a car, me, and a mailbox in this in, in the 2.8 millimeter, the top left image. But then if you look at the 3.6 millimeter image, you can you can see my foot, but then you can only see the mailbox and in the six millimeter image you can't see you can barely see the mailbox like just a sliver of it so you can kind of see how cameras like the choice of camera will really heavily dictate you know what you're going to see on your home or business anyone can sell you cameras so why choose proactive security cameras it's simple we've been securing your homes and businesses for nearly 30 years which proves that we do not abandon our customers after a sale we've held an a plus rating with the better business bureau since 1999 now we also offer an industry leading warranty free shipping free system designs and consultations along with free u.s based technical support on every purchase I invite you to be proactive about your security. I like it. Yeah. Well, at least you got the old cheese from. Yeah, I think I like the last one the best. Mm -hmm.